hi it's been a while um there's been multiple times that i thought about recording and then something stopped me so it was either you know some i'm sure some sort of judgment or just not feeling like it anyway so i'm gonna give you a quick update about the last month um which has been full of up and downs so okay where was i i um my family's like who are you talking to because it's been a while since i recorded <laughs> um and you might be asking me again anyway um it has definitely been ups and downs uh this and now I, I feel I'm sorry but I uh obviously I super can't remember what I said in the last couple times I posted in February or January but um again this for me has been um harder than the stem cell transplant and I know that is not true for everybody else like the CAR T like um People in their 70s and 80s are doing great with CAR T and uh, they feel good. And um, for some reason, my strange body, my, the way my body, it's just different. It just processes things different and it likes to challenge the norm. Yeah, let's just say that. And so, um, so even at the, some of those times when I was, I was feeling better, um it would get worse again then and then I would feel a little bit better it's just been an up and down roller coaster so then I was like you know what I just need to stop having expectations it's really hard because you do hope that things will get better and of course they're better than um like January when I couldn't I just I was so sick I couldn't get out of bed I was so nauseous I felt pretty depressed um but I'm like I'm to the point probably two or th two three weeks ago to the point where I could like schedule um an appointment with the power program at Huntsman to do um basic strength training to start um you know strengthening my body again after being horizontal and laying down and sick for so many months I am pretty weak and so um I've been to I've been to four sessions of that, three or four sessions of that. Um, also had acupuncture a couple times. It's funny because the, um, or interesting, the, the T5, T9 um, fracture in my back uh, does not really, it doesn't hurt. Like I, I'll feel sore if I really am like walking a lot or doing something um, that just is more than what I'm used to. And so the kyphoplasty really helped. Um, it's my lower back, which I've had actually issues with for years, but I think that with the multiple myeloma and being sedentary, it's just hurt. I, I, I don't, it's just in a lot of pain. And so I've had acupuncture um, and just heat, still on pain meds, um, because the goal is to get me strong enough so that I don't have to be, that I strengthen my core and I don't have to be on pain meds. Anyway. So it's my lower back that hurts the worst. And I just get, I get sore after the power program and I am barely doing, I'm not doing much, but I'm proud of myself for doing it. And so um, I got a massage, like just trying to wake up my body. And um, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing and getting used to, uh, sometimes I was so tired, I was sleeping so much. So I'm trying to get back to like a normal schedule um, which I pretty much got to, and it's a good thing because I start work tomorrow for the first time in almost six months. So that is tomorrow, which I'm excited to, you know, use my brain again, see people at work. And um, I feel really lucky to still have my job. And uh, yeah, it'll be um, also a good distraction. Multiple myeloma is a lifelong cancer that 
throws curves ball curve balls at you all the time. So I've learned to become very flexible and um, the car T just pretty much just dealing with things as they come. My gut is definitely not the same, but I mean, for the most part, I can go on walks. I can be with my family. I can, you know, I'm just, I'm just barely, I'm starting to get back to normalcy again. So, um, I apologize for the delay. I just, there were so many times that I, I don't know, just didn't know what to say. Yeah, I'm like, I didn't want to be a Debbie Downer all the time. There was, I, I'm not saying it's all been bad, but, and there's definitely been, I mean, I'd say for the past week, week and a half, I've felt like good mentally and physically. And that is awesome. That is amazing. Like, I have not felt this, that, that for a long time. So I'm just really grateful and so appreciative of the massive amounts of support that friends, families, um, strangers um, have given me over this past, it's really like a year with starting treatment and my mom dying and um, and having the CAR-T, you know, that's just been a lot and I'm really lucky to have support and um, I don't want to take up too much time and I'm sure I'll think of something after that I wanted to give an update on, but this is pretty much the basic and I'll, I have another appointment in the beginning of April with my physician. So, you know, I'll, um, I'm hoping to give an, maybe a quick update then. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing great and enjoying the spring, winter, fall, summer all in one day. Anyway, um, I'll be in touch. Bye.